echoed by Syria's civil war and the kidnapping of two prominent archbishops. This year we are, uh, we are leaving uh, our uh, uh, Good Friday uh, with a lot of sadness and with a lot of bad feeling. And we are praying really to the resurrected uh, God to help us. And strength us. The Orthodox bishops Paul Yazigi and John Ibrahim were kidnapped in northern Syria on April 22nd. They remain missing. There's been no claim of responsibility, but many Christians here believe they were taken by an Islamist militia fighting in the ranks of the opposition. Christians are often viewed as loyal to the regime of Syria's president Bashar al-Assad, and many now fear for their safety and their religious freedom. Their answer often, defiance. We are, uh, belong to this country. We were born here, we were raised here, and we will die here. Everything has changed, this woman says. Before, people were happy. Even in places that are not being attacked, people now are not happy. Many have deaths in their families and sorrows. Then, they're interrupted by the sound of artillery. Boy and Girl Scouts conduct security checks outside this Orthodox church in the predominantly Christian neighborhood of Baptuma, and residents have a hard time finding any sort of Easter spirit. In years past, there would have been masses of people walking through these streets in Easter processions, but nowadays, with the conflict going on, all that's changed. All they have here now are these white ribbons that are hanging between the buildings to commemorate those who were killed in Syria's ongoing conflict. Even the bishop seems skeptical about the future. We would like to, 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 to be here in Syria. It's our land as Christians. And we would like to be uh, to all the others.